What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is William Bootsy Blanding. Um, entrepreneur, self-proclaimed corporate hustler. I'm not a licensed professional. I just want to be clear, transparent. Um, I'm not a professional in any way, shape, or form. I've had several businesses. Um, I've had one brick and mortar cell phone store for three years. Um, I've done several sales online. I've made a lot of mistakes. I've disappointed family members. But I am an entrepreneur. I am an entrepreneur. I'm going to keep striving regardless of what everybody thinks about me. You know, it's not always positive when you become an entrepreneur. You're going to hear a lot of negative. You're going to have a lot of heat. Um, I'm to the point now where the heat is so strong. I had somebody try to fake sign up under me, under one of Z Tegrity's programs, just to fuck with me. Yes, just to fuck with me. They signed up under me, wrote their name as Stop Scammer, used one of my old phone numbers as their phone number, just to fuck with me. But that's, I'm realizing now, as I'm going through this, that this is what it takes to be a real entrepreneur. You're going you're gonna to go through some bad times, as well as good. And when I just let that sink in, and then you got to you gotta not care what people think about you anymore. I remember in high school, all I wanted was you guys to like me. That's all I wanted in life, is you guys to like me. That's it. You know, that's that would have made me so happy to get you guys to like me. You know, and a few of you that did like me, you never really expressed it. You just basically was around me, but you ain't never been like, well, you know, I, I love you, nigga. You know, you probably would say it now, you know what I mean, as an older male. More so than you would have as a kid. We was just grew up that way. You wasn't supposed to show emotions or feelings. But I realized going through this journey of becoming a, a real online entrepreneur anyway. That I think I'm finally getting it. You know, why did it take me to become a middle aged man? Some of you might just call me a straight old head. To figure this stuff out. Why did it take so long? It's because there was no one like me to tell you. That's why. Guys, I had a brick and mortar business. And not one white person, not one black person, not no friends. Which is basically come to me and be like, well, this is how you got to do this. You can, first, you got to keep your credit right. You know, had I had cr just personal credit. I probably would have gone so much further in that business. So much further, guys. I'd probably be a millionaire to this day had just one person like me came to me, sat me down, and be like, well, you got to first get your personal credit right. You got to start a real business. This ain't no real business. Because even though it was a brick and mortar store, quote unquote, to sell phones and pagers, I didn't have no inventory. I was broke, guys, trying to sell cell phones and pagers with no inventory. I basically had like it down to a science where I had a pamphlet of pagers where you saw the picture and you had to pay me up front and then I would order the pager. That's how I was living. Even as a business owner, I had a scarcity mindset. Now I realize personal and business is everything, guys, to me now. It's everything to me now. And for those of you who be like, oh, you can't just live your life or work. 
Yes, you can if you enjoy what you're doing. Yes, you can. You can live your entire life for business if that's what you love. Guys, I've never been happier at this point in my life. I've never been happier than I am now. Being an entrepreneur, not having no boss, having enough in reserves cash to last me to the next year if needed. It's not going to take that long, but if needed, I got enough reserves cash sitting in my account. That I basically could wake up every day, guys, and not be in any stress. You want to know what my most stressful weeks are, guys? When I ain't got no more weed left. And there's no dealers that can bring it to me. That's the most stressful day. I'm like, ah, my, I need weed. It's trying to call somebody to get some weed. That's my most stressful day. Because now I figured out the game. I figured out the fucking game. Yeah, I figured out to the game to the point where I'm seriously considering becoming a life coach. And you might ask, well, what qualifies you to be a life coach? I lived life to the to the lowest point. Guys had a business after business after business failed. Relationship after relationship failed. But now I figured out to the point in my life where I can not only create you a business. Guys, I got to figure it out to a science where I can actually come in and create somebody a business. And even set up the revenue stream to fund it. I've got it down to a science like that. And if God forbid, if they have over a 680 credit score. If I set you up a business and God forbid you have over a 640 over a 680 credit score I can get your business about probably 150k in business funding like that no exaggeration just a 680 and that's not even the top tier credit if you have over a 740 the possibilities are endless I'm at no bullshit the possibilities are endless. I'm to the point, guys, where I know some of you know about the uh, that watch my channel about this black table program and um, what they're doing. They're going after basically they're going after just their segment of people, and I, I got to give Z Integrity credit for this because they're finally helping us, like personally helping us. Where I feel like they abandoned us for a while. You know, chime in if you felt that way. I felt like they abandoned us for a while, Troy. I'm going to be honest. I just felt like that, like you wasn't really trying to help us, but I finally feel like they're trying to help us. But guys, what they're trying to do is basically go after the EIDL uh, business programs that they got, the SBA has got going on right now that are going to end quick. So if you're not in the black table, you better like get in, you go to SBA.gov and try to figure this shit out last minute because it ends December 31st of 2021 it's over so basically what Troy's doing I already done the only thing they can do for me is hopefully go in and increase what I've already done which I've already gotten the 24 months of working capital I've got the total loan based on my income you know and then I've got the um, supplemental, the targeted supplemental. So that was a 10 k grant that's automatically forgiven. I got the 5K grant automatically forgiven. I snuck in the first PPP. I didn't get the second round because they shut it down early. But, man, I probably would have got round two, guys, too. But the second round of PPP, I mean, the first round of PPP, I got... Uh, I want to say it's a little bit over 7000 Forgive it. I've already did the paperwork and everything on the SBA website. Got it forgiven. So the only thing I'm on the hook for is 72 k and at the lowest interest rate, 3.75, I believe. And I don't even have to start paying it for two years. 
So what I think Troy and their team is only if you're in the black table um, and Z Tegrity, they're going in and increasing people's loans. You know, I don't want to say too much because, you know, if you're not in the black table, you know, that's, I'm sorry. But this is only for the people already in the black table. A lot of people left. But I know some of the people that left, they're probably pissed off because you you didn't know how to qualify for this SBA funding. I was one of the smart ones. I was on YouTube, like, just trying to figure it out. I'm like, eh, meet, watch them meet Kevin and all these crazy white YouTubers. I was figuring out the game as soon as it dropped in 2019. I was like, let me get this damn money because I was broke. I lost everything. My business failed. My grandmother died, and it's like the family fell apart. You know, my brother took off. He's still in Waterbury missing somewhere. My brother, Sean. Nobody know where he at. Just disappeared. Hope he's not on drugs or something. But I figured out the game. I, but, I, guys, I, I, I went through so much to figure it out the game. You know, I guess you could say the people that really listen to me, I'm saving them from the pain. I want to believe I'm saving them from the pain. Um, the few loyal people that I've talked to, and it's probably only like five of you. I personally talked to you on the phone. You already know the game. You already know the game. It's funny how the people that already know the game, they call me. Because you would think it'd be the other way around. People that don't know this game and trying to figure it out, they would call me. Now, those people that I've got some smart people contact me. And I'll maybe give them a little gem. But you guys already knew the game. You guys are already involved trying to become entrepreneurs just like me. You know, you just need that one gem just to get above me, you know. So I might know like one or two gems that you don't know, but you already figured it out. And those are the type of people to contact me. Thank God, because I'm trying to weave out the riffraff, the people that just want to, it's about fuckery. They're really trying to scam me. I've had a lot of fuckery. Like people were literally trying to contact me so they can scam me or trying to get me involved in what they're doing. No, nigga, this is my platform. This is my platform. I ain't coming to you. You're supposed to be coming to me. Like, I don't understand why these people don't figure out the game. But the five of you that I've contacted, you've already figured out the game. Some of you are in Z-Tegrity. Um, and I want to give a shout out to um, those five people because I know it was rough, you know, the, you witnessed me, like, get upset and almost I almost left Z-Tegrity. I was like, I was pissed off because I got tired of waiting. And I'm thinking that because this new free gas program pissed me off. But they they finally got it right. But it's like I already, I'm already on a level where I was already in the game because I already got my EIDL money. I already got the grants. I already got my PPP forgiven. So you already see I'm, my mindset is already... Pretty much, you know, on Troy level. I just need the infrastructure and more money, and I could be a Troy Mason. You heard what I'm saying? I could be a Troy Mason. You know, I could be in showing y'all my crib, and then I, over there, I got the new pool table over there. You know what I'm saying? That could be me soon. But the thing is, I want to bring some people with me. You don't even have to personally partner with me. I just want to bring some people with me as far as like the fives that I talk to on the phone. And we just keep each other in the loop, help each other out, give each other a free gem here and there. I'm good with that. If you guys don't want to personally get involved with me in business, I'm good. I'm going to level up regardless. But I want to bring some of you with me, either by you watching the content or you personally partner with me. Or you just give me a shout out every now and then. Because once you get my course, you got my phone. You can just keep calling me whenever. You know, and I throw you a little gem. You throw me a little gem. It's already working. That's the whole purpose of this channel, guys. I'm trying to meet people on my level. Or trying to be on my level. 
or above me. Yes, I'm going to be meeting some people that are way above me. Because it's a never-ending search for this stuff to level up, build your business. But I love it, guys. This is not work. This is not work, guys. You know? I literally could be high every single day, which I think I need to tone it down. I think I smoke too much. You know, just be transparent. You know, I need to tone down the weed a little bit. But everything else in my life, you know, you know, I'm getting to that age now where I feel like I need to go to the doctor more often, you know, but I don't, as far as I know, I'm relatively healthy. Um, I got rid of the riffraff in the crib, got rid of this chick that was just nonstop drama, you know. Uh, my granddaughter's here. I'm happy about that. Life is pretty good right now. Life is pretty good right now, but I just basically wanted to give you guys this view of my life because you you see it, it's possible. It's possible to live your life, not be rich, you know, I still consider myself poor, but I live an independent life. And with this great resonation, I do believe it is partly because the government's helping. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, because at my what my credit score was, I would have not gotten a normal SBA loan. Let's keep it real. It's because of the pandemic. But guys, if you think like an entrepreneur, you capitalize on pandemics. That's what I do. I'm a corporate hustler. That's what I do. I don't look at it as taking advantage of the government. I paid into the government. There's some, there's some, a lot of singles, keep it real, there's a lot of single moms that take advantage of the system and they never even paid into the system. They've been in the system from their mom, their grandma. They never worked. There's chicks that never worked. Never paid taxes. I paid taxes. I've struggled trying to become a regular employee, my last retail job, shout out to Bed Bath & Beyond. I tried, I tried, but I'm not gonna lie. Part, part of the great resonation is due to the government giving out this money. But instead of hating, y'all should be trying to get it too. Y'all should be grinding, trying to get this, and then build a business behind it. I didn't just take the government money and go buy a, a damn uh, car. You know what I mean? I could have just threw $40,000 into a car and fucked it over, but why? When you could build a business that could take care of you the rest of your life. That shit Rich Wayne talking is real. I don't condone some of the illegal tactics but the shit he talking is real it's real guys I'm on Rich Wayne's level as far as mindset I know exactly what he's talking about now but it took me a while to get it maybe because I'm older than him it took me a while to figure it out you know it took me years it took me basically half my life you could say to figure out the game because there's no people out there like me. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of guys like me going around telling you how you could, with one trade line, go from a 600 credit score to a 700 credit score with one trade line if you have no negatives on your credit, which can in turn help you get 150000 in some business credit and then we go do an actual business where it's actually bringing in the revenue to pay that off and change your life forever. That's what we're trying to do on this channel. You know? You know, that's what we're trying to do with Shania Business and now Bland Drake. You know, if you're seeing us on one of my other channels, go over to my main channel, Shania Business, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I show receipts of government funding I'm getting, personal trade lines I'm getting, business credit that we're working on, 
Shout out to Navy Federal Credit Union. Shout out to Navy Credit Federal. I'll give you one, one little quick tip. Credit unions are your best friend in this game. I'm going to say it again. Credit unions are the best thing that can help you in this game. Shout out to uh, my subscriber that's in California. Now he was bragging too. He was like, yeah, we got we got this credit union. We got this credit because he understands the game. You might be thinking, well, what's the big deal with credit union? He understands the game. You throw rubbing in my face. Yep, we got this. We got first union tech. We got this one. We got because he he's he's cited because he knows the game. Just by getting in these credit unions, forming an LLC. Using your personal credit to back your business credit. Now, your business credit is three times usually more than your personal. Now, you go get an investment property. Boom, boom, boom. It's layers. And it's very easy. You got to remember, I'm coming in in struggle mode. Meaning that I'm, I fell off and now I'm rebuilding. But if you come in, you've never been in struggle mode where your credit was always, you just had a job. You know, your credit score is maybe a five, I mean, a six something. You know, you're in about the six range. You know, you pay your stuff, you know, maybe one late payment here and there. Guys, I could change your life. I can literally change your life because we're just going to add a trade line that's going to jump your credit score up 100 points. We're going to uh, construct you a basic LLC. You take the basic LLC, you go level up with some corporate credit. You take the corporate credit, you invest in what you really want to do. You know, you might just want to be a hairstylist. I don't know. And, in, and I work with companies like Zetegrity. They give you a little something you could sell. They have programs like the Black Table program, you know. Link below if you're interested in getting the free gas. The link's below. Free gas program, you know. And then I'm working with like crypto companies like World Crypto Life. Guys, I'm not even going to tell you what World Crypto Life could do. Because I'm mad now. Because if I took, and I, I I hate saying this because I, I'm, you know, glad I'm in the black table. But if I took that 5K that I invested in the black table and put it into world crypto life. Guys, I probably would have like probably $15,000 right now off of 5k investment. And then the possibilities in the future are I'm talking like that could be 100k in 6 months. I'm not even exaggerating. And that's just one crypto that's just one money flow that I'm working on. Uh, now, Coinbase is where I'm dabbling a little, personally, with crypto. Now, yep, if you've been paying attention, Bitcoin went up, Ethereum went up. It's fluctuating now, but it hit over that 60K is what we've been waiting for. Because now we know the next time it goes way up, we're looking at 90 to 100K. And what does that do for the altcoins? Could change your life. So if you got a coin like the World Crypto Life coin that's literally worth like 50 cent on the exchange and it goes to five dollars, you could be looking at a thousand dollar investment making you a hundred thousand dollars in six months. No exaggeration, but that's the crypto game. That's should be just a side one thing, that's just one thing we got going now. What I'm trying to work on also personally is build more companies you might be thinking well, why you keep just building companies nigga because you could build corporate credit on every single one let me get a breakdown real quick for people that don't understand the power of the holding company you have twenty thousand dollars follow me for a minute you have twenty thousand dollars you form a llc to be your holding company this is not going to be your operational company. You're never going to get sued. This is just basically your bank. You put the 20K in. You do what I told you to build your, your keep your personal credit right. 
Your personal credit is going to leverage your business credit on that first company. Now you're going to form three operating companies. You know, let's just use the example. They hold real estate. You know, all three LLCs. Now, not a licensed professional on taxes. So it's just entertainment. But because those baby companies are passed through entities, number one, you don't have to file taxes on them. They're just holding real estate. But here's the beauty. You could build corporate credit on each one of those LLCs too. And at that point, you might not even need your personal to back it up because the holding company has so much credit, it backs up the baby companies. You see where I'm getting at? So if your, your mother company or your holding company already builds up, let's say, half a million dollars, you could build a half a million dollars on all three of the baby companies as well. You take all that money, you see where I'm going? Yes, this stuff takes time. Yes, I'm talking like it's overnight, but it's not overnight. I have a holding company right now. And I've let that season a whole year just to get to this point. And a lot of you young people don't want to hear that. I'm like, I don't want to wait that long. But guys, listen. Now I'm about to be to the stage where I can build some baby companies under this holding company. And build corporate credit on those. I'm working on just the, the one I got as far as the corporate credit. But once that's done. Guys, the possibility are endless. And then I've got to set up a nonprofit. That's a whole nother strategy. You know, be looking for videos on nonprofits. That's a whole nother game. People don't realize you can build corporate credit on a nonprofit. Let me say that again. You could build corporate credit on a nonprofit. So now you're not even paying taxes with the stuff you're doing with that. And you got corporate credit. Then I go into the tech arena. Now, the thing I like about technology companies is you don't actually have to do technology, guys. Let me give you a little gem. You don't technically don't even have to do any technology. You can actually go in and acquire other technology companies. So essentially, that could be a whole nother holding company. But you're calling it a technology company because you're going to go in, you're going to acquire, purchase, Small tech companies, you know, you bring a real tech guy in, so you don't even have to know technology. You build a, a block, you you can build something with blockchain, possibly your own cryptocurrency, you know, and then people are buying your cryptocurrency. You could say offer them a piece in the company for a certain percentage of cryptocurrency. That's just one little, and you could even do it on a low low with offering your coin you know if you structure this right the government don't technically have to know who's doing what as far as your cryptocurrency goes see what i'm saying disclosure i'm not a licensed professional i don't even call myself a business consultant honestly even though i'm probably going to register for that so i'm a registered licensed in connecticut business consultant but you don't have to have any degrees to call yourself a business consultant. You know, I'm probably going to get my real license to be a media company because there's perks. Once you get a license, it gives you more. Banks look at you as you're real once you have that license for some odd reason. Once you have a real license for business and you can throw that in the bank space, bang, just I'm probably going to. Um, my media company, Blandre, I'm probably going to most likely go back to Chase. I mean, uh, just for the anchor bank. You want to have an anchor bank. What I call an anchor bank is a bank local to your area. And then I'm going to get involved with some fintech credit unions. Because unlike my boy in Cali, I can't just walk in and then just be like, okay, let me, you know, I got to do it online. But I'm going to get involved with some fintech uh, banks, start whole, you know, maybe two or three with my media company. 
Landry. I'm really just doing the media company, guys, just to build more credit. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to build trade lines with this one. It's not going to be like my holding company I already have. My holding company I already have is just like a shelter. Nobody, I really don't want people to even know about it. That's why I don't tell the name. Landrake, I'm going to brand myself everywhere. But it's also going to be like a bank. Because I'm just going to build trade lines in the background. I mean, everything, gas cars, everything. I'm going to build a million and one type of trade lines on the Bland Drake business. For the purposes of the company and as well show you guys what I'm doing. You know, the more trade lines I can show you guys and boom, Bland Drake got another trade line. Boom, you guys are going to watch more and you're going to go out and do what I'm doing. Somebody emailed me today about... Um, uh, I said I was going to give out one of my secrets, one of the trade lines I used recently. And the only way to get it free is to email me. Somebody actually did it. I was like, oh, okay. So I give out free gems. You know, if you want to get me on the phone, though, you have to get my holding company course. Um, it's $97. And I know some of you just want me to pick up the phone and talk to all of you for free. But I'm running a business. So I hope you understand that. Um, I hope you continue to watch. And if you have, you're new to the channel, please, please subscribe. It means a lot. Give me the thumbs up. Continue watching. You're going to see a lot of good information as I level up. I'm going to be putting that information on the channel. Thank you. Subscribe, watch, comment, and I'll catch you guys next time.